Hi, this is Julian for Production Expert, and today we're going to be looking at the new marker features as introduced in Pro Tools 2023.6. The upshot of it is there's a new way of using markers. Previously, we only had these, these ruler markers, which resided on the single markers ruler. We've still only got one markers ruler, but there's a new type of, actually two new types of markers, trap markers and folder markers, and they both live down here on the timeline in the session itself. This, for example, is a trap marker, and this here is a folder marker. They're almost almost the same. The main difference is that uh, what we have on a ruler marker is we have this line that goes the whole way down the session. On a trap marker, we don't have a line because it only pertains to a single track, but on a folder marker, we've got a line that only goes across the member tracks of that folder. So that's the difference. Okay, um, if you can't see them, here's one most useful thing that you'll get out of this video. If you don't already know it, uh, Shift and U toggles trap marker visibility on and off, which is incredibly useful. You'll notice that these new trap markers live on a new area of the UI, this bit here, which is a new area that's been introduced, a, a track marker lane. Uh, this always sits underneath the main playlist. So if you've got other stuff like other playlists or automation or stuff like that showing underneath, um, it'll be below that track marker lane. That'll always sit there. There is another way to view markers, which is a dedicated markers view, which looks like this. And uh, we can do all sorts of things from there. I'm going to come back to the clips view here, though. There's also these new buttons, which have been introduced into the track header. Three buttons per track. Um, the, uh, the bottom one here is an add marker button, which is very similar to uh, uh, the add marker little plus that's been on the markers ruler for a long time. Um, we've also got a target button. You'll recognize target buttons from plugin windows and send windows and stuff like that. They direct an action towards a specific place in the UI. So there's, there's a, a shortcut for creating a marker and uh, to show Pro Tools which track you want to create that marker on, you target it using a target button. So to create that new marker, I'll just create one over here, say, uh, if I just uh, um, have that track focused and uh, I place that insertion point and then I hit Command and Enter, that'd be Control and Enter on a PC, and it opens the new memory location window and uh, from there are various things that I can do, like set the colour. Colour's a new thing, we'll come back to that. Uh, but uh, if I just uh, OK that or to hit Enter again, there's my new track marker. Well, we're talking about trap markers. If I just do something like this, I'll just create a clip group just so we can have something on the timeline. Um, there's two different behaviors for these uh, trap markers. If I were to take this and make an edit or to move it, at the moment, this is going to move with it. So we've got this trap marker and it's following edits. If I come up to options, I can get uh, the converse behavior. If I switch it off, markers no longer follow edits. Of course, you choose whichever one suits you. Colour's an interesting one. You'll see that uh, we've got various colours of marker along this uh, markers ruler and various colours in the timeline itself, uh, track and folder markers. They're useful for more than just highlighting the difference between different areas that are marked. You've always been able to do that using show marker colours, which just colours this space in between the markers. There's actually uh, a new preference if we come in here. And we'll see that uh, whereas it was a single preference before, what we now have is the option to uh, show marker lane colors for timeline marker ruler or for tracks. So uh, you can show them on both or either or none. It's entirely up to you. However, you can also use them to carry useful information. If I come over into the, uh, into the memory locations window, we'll see that's changed a little. Uh, we've got a new lane down the middle uh, and icons denoting the different types. So tracks have their appropriate track type icon. Folders show folders. Marker rulers show a little ruler. But also we have colours. And we can choose any one of 16 colours that happen to be shared with Media Composer. We won't go into that here. But something really useful you can do is if you assign a meaning to the use of each colour, you can sort by colour. Like so which is kind of useful for getting around in this window. Okay, so before we get on to talking about the third button, which is prioritise marker names versus comment, uh, not as complicated as it sounds, uh, we should talk about focusing. 
This is really nice. Um, what you want to be able to do is to be able to get around quickly. If you just want to focus without having to click on each track like so, being a focus button, you can only focus one track at a time. Um, there is a shortcut. Um, shift and square brackets can move that up and down. But something that's much more convenient is to be able to click on a track using the selector tool and have it change its focus to there, which isn't happening at the moment. The reason it isn't happening is because of, uh, well, if I go into options, we have a couple of options here. Um, marker target follows first selected track. Really useful. That's enabled, but it's not working because I haven't, if I select this track, for example, that becomes focus. That's what that does. That's the behavior that controls. So any track that's selected also gets focused. So if I then enable this up here, link track and edit selection, then if I place my edit selection in a track, it gets selected. And because it's selected, it gets targeted as well. Like so. Like so. Really, really useful way of getting around. So moving on to comments, comments have become much more useful than they used to be. Uh, if you uh, if you double click on uh, a marker, in this case, I, I've got uh, a nice long comment in here, a note about what to do with this organ part. We've also had those comments in this memory location window because they were tucked away. They didn't get used very much and people used to do things like give clips extremely long names to convey information and be able to place it on the timeline where you'll see it. You don't have to do that anymore because you can display these comments on the timeline. So if I click this button here, which remind ourselves, prioritize marker name versus comment. So with it not checked, you see the marker name. With it checked, you see the marker name, unless there's a comment. If there is a comment for that marker, you see that instead, like so. This gets uh, displayed here. It gets truncated. Um, if you want to see a particularly long comment, then that's a really useful example for when you might use markers view. And like this, we get text wrap. It's it's kind of bigger font and uh, it's more Zoom friendly. It's 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 a good view to use if you're using these comments for stuff like notes or lyrics or something like that. Something else that's quite nice actually is that if you uh, have that track, um, uh, have the insertion point in that track, you can use Shift and N to toggle your uh, comments, and and that'll work uh, in either view. So there's a handful of things that are really useful and good to know about these new marker features in Pro Tools 2023.6. I hope you found something useful in there.